Welcome to the Arbutus Analyzer tutorial series. This tutorial will be how to use SQL in the Data Definition Wizard. When defining a table in Analyzer, start from the Project Overview, right-click and select New Table. You can define data that's local on your desktop or on an Arbutus server. In this case, I'm just going to go with Local, select Next. This capability to use SQL syntax is available through the ODBC interface. I'll select ODBC and click Next. I'll choose the database that I'm wanting to define tables from, and I'll click Next. You'll see that there's a checkbox, Create Select, which allows me to enter my own select statement. When I check this checkbox, all of the tables and everything else is grayed out. All I need to do now is select the next checkbox and I can put in my SQL code directly into this Create SQL Select window. I'll paste in my SQL code. Here you can see I'm doing a left join of the customer table with the order table. I'm including the company name and the order ID from those two tables and I'm joining them together based on the customer ID fields in both tables. Also, there's an order clause which will put the data in a sorted order based on the company name. When I click on OK, we go directly to the end of the wizard and all we have to do is supply a table name. In this case, I'll give it a descriptive name, left join, customers orders by customer ID. Okay, so a nice long descriptive name. I'll flatten the data and I'll click on Finish. Save. And there we have it. We've just used SQL code to join two tables together and order the results based on the company name. Another way in which you can use SQL with the Data Definition Wizard in Analyzer is at the end by doing New Table. Again, we'll go through Local, ODBC, select Next. I'll choose the SQL Server Database, Next. I'll choose just the Orders table here. And I will go to Edit Query so that I can bring up some other screens. In this case, I will select all the fields, just going Next. On this screen, the Where and Order Clause screen, if I wanted to, I could select the little checkbox to edit the SQL select statement. So in this case, I'm not building it from scratch. I'm going to use what's already being used by the wizard. And when I click on Next, you can see the select statement being built. Now at this stage, if you wanted to add a few things, you could. So these are the two avenues, the two areas where you can actually type in or, or paste in SQL directly into the wizard. At this stage, I'll back up there. At this stage, you can choose to validate your your SQL query. So, for instance, if I were to do a WHERE clause, WHERE SHIP COUNTRY equals USA, I could then click the validate button, and it would validate it against the database to make sure that this was valid SQL syntax. And in this case, it says it's fine. And I will click on next and we'll just call this U.S. Orders. And if I scroll over in the data, we should see that all of the countries are USA. And just to confirm that, I'll do a quick classify. Sure enough, all of the records are indeed strictly USA. So there you have it two different approaches, two different ways to use SQL syntax with the Arbutus Analyzer Data Definition Wizard. For more information, please check the Analyzer help file or contact your local support personnel.